that's really key to know that we not only are fortunate enough to support wholesale automotive, we also support, good golly, a number of different industries such as salvage automotive, the cattle industry, the fine art industry, yellow iron or heavy construction equipment. We support industrial, coins and stamps, wine. We are a 24-7 shop, and we do a lot of activity around the world, which helps me to provide answers to your questions that were not only very significantly related to the automotive auction industry, but allows us to bring different perspectives to these questions as well. So to get back to the first question, again, the assessment of the development application and adoption by the auction and retail vehicle sales channel, I'll say the current state of technology and its respective adoption within the automotive auction space is one of transformation. And it's important to consider that the state of the automotive industry is one that's comprised of many different players. So you have the dealers, the consigners, you have the, the bidders, obviously, the auction houses, the transport companies, the finance models. And obviously, the, any one of those players could play multiple roles throughout the day or throughout the week. You also consider that the technology direction is choreographed by a select few whose agendas really are best served by, at times, avoiding collaboration with others within the marketplace who, in some cases, may not share their same goals or their, or their same agendas. In order to really steer clear and avoid what we refer to as diffusion of technology, you really need to make sure that you can instead powerfully promote technology adoption um, and strong, charismatic, transformational technological leadership is required to do that not only to, to identify, but also the inspire the necessary change that goes with that, with that technology throughout the industry. So herein lies the conundrum, right? You have, you have the expectation of technology adoption within the automotive industry, um, but you lack the collaborative goals, and therefore it prevents the identification of needed technological change as well as the inspiration required to affect the change. Um, it also, and obviously, precludes the industry as a whole from being able to get behind a consolidated vision as, uh, to, to really ensure the effective, efficient execution and, and consequently the industry-wide adoption of such technological change. And the dealer body could play a very uh, big role here. They could almost serve as a force majeure almost uh, for the development and, and promoting of a common direction really provide a consolidated vision that could be sort of the necessary force and function behind what it takes to indeed allow for people to get behind, you know, that common voice, that common leader, that, that, and, and, and really march in that direction.